Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my Omi homies, my fellow master collectors, and everybody else on YouTube, it's your bro me, the Gale, back at it again with another VV video, let's go. Okay, so yeah, things are popping off on VV right now, it's a beautiful thing, especially if you've been here since uh, early last year, this is the moment we've been waiting for, and the crazy part is, this is just the beginning, but in this video, I just want to show you guys a couple of uh, successful stacking opportunities that I've had in my past and also some potential ones for the future. I want to show you guys what it looks like when you're patient and you do your due diligence and then I'm going to, you know, call it a video. So without further ado, let's just breeze into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to take a look at is Marvel Comics 1. So um, that was an interesting drop, right? So when they first dropped, no, uh, we we didn't have any comics on the app. Like this is the first time a comic was dropped on the app. Um, you know, after the drop, nobody knew how to list it. During the drop, we were able to get like 10 to 15 at a time. Some people stopped buying because they thought they had too many. And um, yeah, so um, you know, you don't need a lot of money to start off on this app. You know what I'm saying? Like. You just need a little bit of money and you got to do some, do your due diligence, do a little research. Now let's take a look at my stacks. So the floor is currently 305. They recently pumped a little bit. I think a couple of whales did some shopping over the weekend, but uh, let's take a look. So I currently have 21 editions, right? So let's get into the app right now. So if we, if we take a look at the details of some of my purchases, we will see that Okay, so for this one, I paid seven dollars. It is now three hundred and five gems. Let's take a look at this one right over here. This one I paid fourteen fifty. It's three hundred and five gems now. All right, let's take a look at look at that one. Okay, so this one is I paid seven dollars. It's three hundred five gems. So I think you're seeing the pattern here. Um, it doesn't it doesn't cost a lot to get started on this app. Seven dollars, three hundred five gems. So I got a lot of these on a drop. Crazy. So I got some four digits. So you know, this one has a floor of 305, but I, in reality, this is worth like probably 450 just because it's a low, it's a low mint, right? So I got this one on the drop as well. $7 is 305. So let's do some calculations real quick. Okay, so uh, my, my current Marvel Comics 1 stack is worth 6,405 gems. Now on average, I paid seven to $20 for the whole stack. So that is what, that is the potential of uh stacking early and you know doing a little due diligence if i if i had more gems at the time i would have had a lot more of these comics but first of all i didn't really understand the gravity of marvel comics one and second of all i didn't have that many gems at the time i was just buying what i could it was comics it was exciting it was brand new so that just goes to show you that if you have patience and if you can stack early before everybody else does their research then you know you can have a potential um you know winner on your hands so let's move on to another example so for my next example i want to stick with the comics and show you guys fantastic four issue one so the same deal this was the second comic drop ever dropped on bv and um you know i think it was like i forgot how how, how long after marvel comics one it was dropped but the learning curve was still there people still didn't understand the gravity of these comics and especially this one so I did a little research and I kind of learned my lesson from the Marvel Comics 1 fiasco, I will call it. <laughs> so after doing research and watching um, a couple of interviews and stuff, I learned my lesson. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to stack this one for sure. So the floor is currently 117 gems and um, I currently have 40 of these ones right here. So if we look into it deeper, let's see how much I paid for a few of these. So I paid uh, nine gems for this one. It's uh, currently 117. Let's check out the check out another one. I paid seven gems for this one. It's currently 117. Let's check out a few more. I paid seven dollars for this one. It's 117. And let's check out one more. So I paid uh, six. I paid less than retail for this one. It's 117. All right. Actually, I want to I want to see if I can find one of those because these were going for two dollars. These were going for like two to three dollars. People. People didn't, you know, know what they were doing. Like right here, I paid three dollars and fifty cents for this one. It's one seventeen right now. Let me see if I can find a few more. 
this is just crazy like this is this is going to be crazy bragging rights in the future when uh people when these are like worth 500 dollars a piece people won't believe we paid three three gems for these i paid 11 for this one so i also made a video back in the day oh, i got a three digit two off the drop so yeah i made a video as well telling people um about this comic when they were four four dollars so all it took was a little bit of research and um you know you could have had yourself a nice little stack once again it doesn't cost a lot of money to get started on this app you don't need to be a millionaire you don't have to put a thousand dollars in it just takes a little bit of money and some due diligence and um you know if you stack the right item and have patience you can you know you can do some things so with that being said let's move on oh yeah real quick i forgot to do the calculations so um you know 40 comics at 117 that's currently worth 4680 gems so like i said i probably put in less than what 500 dollars for this investment so it just takes a little bit of research and a little bit of capital capital and if you're patient enough you know this was only about what maybe five months five months time after the comics were dropped so it doesn't take much you just got to be patient and you know know what you hold and just hold so with that being said let us move on Okay, so the next drop I want to look at, or the next collectible I want to look at, is the DeLorean Time Machine. This drop is infamous in the DV community. It was crazy. Uh, at the time, they, there might have been like maybe 20,000 users on the app, if that. And they made 50,000 additions with the commons alone. So, this wasn't the best drop, uh, to say the least. So, the floor price is currently 92 gems. Now, I bought 11 of these on the drop. Or 10 of these on a drop i bought a few more but um yeah you know these are going under retail for the longest time and they were you know they they barely passed retail like recently but as of late they have pumped and so i held these the whole time because uh we all seen that these were drivable at one point so you know it was um it was a good it was a good speculation that they would become drivable again in the future possibly in the metaverse if not before so I just held these, you know, I could have sold for under retail. I could have sold at retail, but I just decided to hold and, um, you know, now I'm in profit and it's going to be, it's going to be looking like a good stack because like I said, let's take a look. There's a uh, 50,000 additions and now there's only 420 left in the market. Shout out to 420. Um, so yeah, you know, as time goes by, items become more scarce and obviously the value goes up. And if, and if they ha happen to get added utility within that time, that'll also make the value of, of the NFT go up. So sometimes you just got to know what you hold and, you know, have a have foresight for the future and just be patient. So this is another uh, this is another successful stack so far. So let's move on. Sticking with the same brand, I want to take a quick look at the NoTech hoverboards. So I was stacking these for the same reason. I do believe these hoverboards will become writable in the uh, future in the VVverse. Like, I think this would be a faster way to travel as opposed to walking. Like, if you play Pokemon, you know, the bike, you can get around faster on a bike than you can by walking. So that's why I invested in these hoverboards. So that they are currently 44 gems for the floor. And I stacked 23 of these. And I was paying anywhere between like 7 to 13 gems per, per board. So... Um, you know, now they're like quadruple my investment or yeah, four, three to four times my investment. And, you know, I just had to wait and I'm still going to wait. You know, I'm not going to sell these right now because I'm waiting for the metaverse. And my plan for these is to be able to rent these. So we have confirmation through the master collector program and the only utility program that we will be able to rent our VV NFTs. So, uh, this is going to be a form of passive income for me. You know, assuming that I'm correct, that we will be able to rent or ride these. So you got to think like five steps ahead sometimes in the future. And, um, you know, if this can generate, you know, one gem a day or whatever, when we have one million users or multiple millions of users on the app, this is going to far exceed my initial investment. So sometimes you got to you just got to plan for the future and not just, you know, plan for tomorrow. So, yeah. 
that is my uh, hoverboard situation so now i want to show you guys another stacking situation that i'm currently doing that are current sleepers so in a recent video i told you guys that i was stacking the fantastic four due to their deep roots within the marvel universe so uh, the thing is currently 35 dollars. i was stacking him at you know eight gems to like 20 gems and i currently have 15 of them so i think you know he'll probably be 40 40 to 50 gems before too long i think in my opinion now let's go to um uh mr fantastic he's currently 35 gems he already seen a high of like 45 so you already know he's going back up there so that's an obvious opportunity right there if you have the gems to stack him i also have 15 editions of mr fantastic um yeah i see him going to 50 to 60 gems before too long you know and the closer we get to that movie, it's only going to help the situation. So Invisible Woman, Susan Storm, uh, she's currently 45 gems. Um, I did not see that coming already this quickly. So I also have 14 editions of her. I was just buying her at like 25 to 30 gems. So I think she could see another leg up, you know, 55 to 60 gems. And her orbs are uh, animated. If you didn't know, you know, that might help. Who knows? And then um, the most ex one of the most expensive ones out in the in the set, Johnny Storm, Human Torch, 85 gems. I was stacking him at like 50 to 60. I might be done. He's getting up there in price. So yeah, I've just just been stacking the hum the uh, Fantastic Four. I'm not stacking the Eternals because they're not really a household name, even though they had a had a movie. They're not that popular, you know. So I just I have one set of those. I'm not really messing with those. I did stack Captain America because this is the first appearance of uh, Captain America or Steve Rogers. So I got 10 of these. They are currently 99 gems. Um, I was buying these at, um, let me see what price I was buying these at. Pretty pretty low, I think. I got, I got a few of these off the drop, you know. Let's see real quick. Yeah, 13 gems, 90, currently 99. Uh, so yeah, you just got to hold and be patient with these. 13 gems currently 99 so like i said it doesn't take a lot of money to get started on this app you know you're going to see profits because we're so early not financial advice you know things could you know go south things could go the other way but the way i see it in my opinion i do believe we are just getting started so like i said before it doesn't take a lot of money to get started you just gotta do some due diligence uh focus on you know first appearances and have patience so with that being said let's move on and i'll leave you guys with just one more example you know i could show you plenty more but i think you get the idea by now but you don't have to stack a lot of items sometimes so the superman drop this is currently the only superman on the app that that makes him the first appearance superman in premium digital nft format across every platform no other platform can have the title fa superman because vb has done it first officially licensed by marvel with that being said he currently has a floor of 3.2k gems oh my goodness so if we look into him even deeper with the details we will see that he cost 50 gems on the drop there are 8888 editions this is a season two collectible but um so you'll see that i have three i stacked three should have had more but the crazy part is i got all three on the drop for 50 gems they are currently worth 3.2k as you can see so let's take check out the details so you can see uh, what i paid for them so i paid 50 gems if you can see at the top of the details there currently worth 3000 let's take a look at the other one 50 gems worth 3.2 thousand gems and the last one as we will see 50 gems 3.2k uh gems right there so Let's take, check it out real quick. Uh, three, two, 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 times three. So a $150 investment, nearly $10,000. So you can see the potential of stacking if you know what you're stacking. I could have bought way more back in the day, but once again, I didn't really understand what was at stake. You know, I, I knew Superman Man was cool, but if I was smarter, I would have had 10 of these, you know? So just goes to show you if you do your research early if you know what's being dropped if you understand the gravity of these characters you can make a killing potentially you know so with that being said let us move on and that's the video my friends if you made it this far thank you for watching if you enjoyed the content uh, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more vb content like this 
So hopefully I gave you guys some decent examples of what it looks like or what it could look like if you're patient and you uh, do, do your research and invest in the right uh, BB collectibles. You know, these results aren't guaranteed uh, by any means. You know, things could change in the, in the future, you know, regulations or what whatnot. But if things go the way that we think they're going to go, then, uh, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And just make sure you're doing your due diligence and, you know, um, not investing more than you can afford to lose. So with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is financial advice because I am learning just like you guys. I am uh, just your friendly neighborhood genius sharing his thoughts and opinions on this awesome app known as Vivi. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that being said, thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and hodl strong, my friends. Later.